of how we should look at civil liberties because basically in religion we do a pretty good job. I mean, I bet there's a lot of different religious values in this room and some who just don't want any you know, particular religious values. And that's what we've been provided. We don't have to make those decisions. The government should make these decisions. But when, when they go, and, and we're pretty tolerant on, on what uh, our intellectual lives should be about. We can read books, and, and uh, even when communism was a, a real threat, we were, you know, still had books on communism, and we didn't uh, prevent people from doing it. But we rarely apply that same principle to personal lifestyles, you, you know, uh, personal habits. Because they're afraid, well, some people's personal habits might not be good and we have to watch them. They might drink too much or smoke too much and all these other things. So they don't give, give the people the same type of protection. Uh, but the federal government definitely should not be involved in, in regulating anything with religious uh, values. Uh, what, and they shouldn't be in, involved in uh, intellectual matters. But I don't think they should do it in, in personal habits either. A lot of people say, oh, yeah, but they might go out and gamble, and this would be bad for the family and all those things. But if you legalize something, if you legalize religious choices, that doesn't mean we endorse it. You know, I, I want everybody to make their own choices as long as they don't hurt other people. Uh, I don't endorse what they do with their religious freedom. But what you do with your personal liberties, with your own habits, I don't endorse what you do. And this is why freedom is so miraculous. It brings people together. All of a sudden, people who have different religious values, different intellectual interests, and different personal habits, people can come together because what we want to protect is that principle of liberty. And that's what made our country great. But something happened along the way because uh, today you don't have a concise understanding of what freedom is about. Some people are a little bit better on personal liberties and religious liberties and at the same time, the, another group will be better on economic liberties, but it should be one and the same. If you have a right to your life and you have a right to your liberties, you ought to defend personal liberties as equal, you know, to uh, economic liberties, and and that is one of my goals. Is probably it's been trying to bring people together, but the federal government shouldn't be writing any laws on regulation of religious.